Aaron, how do you wrap your head around that eighth inning? Three errors, six runs. <sighs> Yeah, just not a good inning for us, obviously. Um, you know, Lowe wasn't quite as sharp, fell behind the first hitter. You know, they put some really good swings on some balls, too, obviously. Um, they, You know, they hit the ball pretty hard that inning. Um, but, you know, we're in pretty good position there. You know, in a tight ball game with Lowe and Chappie lined up there. Um, and, you know, they, they got it done, and, and, and we did in that inning. With how good your bullpen has been to start the season, is it almost a little odd to see them back-to-back -back days have have issues? Sure, sure, but you also know, you know, you're gonna you're gonna have the occasional day or whatever, so um, that happens. Um, but yeah, I'm always, uh, you know, yeah, I'm always surprised because I know what they're capable of and know what I, we expect of them, and and look forward to them getting back out there and and picking up, you know, putting this one behind them. How much of a step forward was this for Tyone tonight going deeper into the game? He had that stretch where I believe he retired 13, 14 batters in a row. Yeah, I thought he pitched well again. You know, thought, you know, took him a couple innings to really get locked in. Um, but then I thought he got really sharp. And like you said, a, a, as his outing went on, he got a little bit better. And, uh, you know, to pitch us into the seventh inning there, you know, you know, he set us up really well tonight to go out and, and try and get a victory. And, uh, we just couldn't finish it off tonight. Other questions? Tom Merriam, go ahead. With DJ's two homers to right field tonight, do you think he has a stroke back from the last couple of years? Good to see him do that, no question. Not uh, a base hit the other way. Um, so good to see DJ, um, you know, really get into some balls the other way, obviously. And, um, yeah, you know, that was that was that was good to see and hopefully something that, you know, really gets him going. Zach Braziller, please unmute. Um, Aaron, before the game you had mentioned Gary, you thought he was starting to come along. He hit a homer, he hit another ball deep, he walked and what did you think was his, of his at bats and will he play tomorrow? Uh good. Um I thought his at bats were really good. Um, like you said, I mean the homer, the walk. Um, he's making good swing decisions, good contact on a ball up in the strike zone there at the end. Uh, we'll see, you know, on tomorrow, leaning more towards Sunday with the day game tomorrow and, and uh, probably have Gary catch Sunday, but I'll, I'll go work through it right now. Brian Hoke, please unmute. Aaron, that was Judge's first error in three years about. Uh, how uncharacteristic is it to see him boot a ball like that? Yeah, I mean, he's as good as it gets out there. So so anytime, you know, he doesn't do something, uh, you know, perfect, it kind of catches you off a little bit. So, you know, those are going to happen, you know, obviously running and chasing a ball in the gap. You know, I, it, I didn't see the – but it looked like probably might have been a double anyway, you know, where – when that ball's kind of slowing down, it's kind of that in between hop, and you're trying to, you got to stick it with the glove instead of it's not just rolling in there automatically. So it's a little bit of a challenging play there. But, you, you know, obviously with Judgey, you, you see him do so many things well out there. So I guess it's a little surprise, but probably would have been a double anyway.